What's up fairy tale fans? This is Reese here for C Mainly to review Fairy Tale Chapter 303. So chapter begins well, you know, so that Natsu doesn't run off and do something stupid like he usually does. They basically tied him up to a support beam so they, you know, everyone in the guild can just work things out like what's going on, you know, the whole Eclipse project thing, the whole taking Lucy only, leaving everyone else there. So yeah, they basically come to a conclusion that well, the reason that only Lucy was taken was not only because, you know, she's one of the keys to start to start it all, but also the fact that well if they take everyone else you know they're all tournament participants so it will just raise questions with the whole crowd that like, you know where is everyone what's going on so yeah it then basically cuts to y Lucy and you know they're locked up in their little cage they're locked up basically underground in a cage and they're just you know discussing whether or not it's right to actually do the Eclipse project so if you remember the Eclipse project basically will allow them to go back in time to you know they want to go back in time to basically kill Zeref before he became immortal, before he became immortal, and just stop it all. So yeah, you can know basically she's just like, I want to do it. You know, it's like why? And then she goes basically into a little backstory saying that well, back when she was younger, Zeref's followers they basically came along, killed her parents, and took away her older sister. She basically wants it to change so that well, none of that ever happened. But then that raises the question: it's like. You know what? Are the, what will the consequences be of changing the past? Will the future still turn out how it is now, but better, or will it just be completely worse? So yeah, we finally go to the tournament now. You know, all the teams are making the big entrances. Lecter is actually confirmed dead, as you know, um, Sabretooth come out, Sting is there looking along. You know, Lecter's missing. Everyone's commenting that wasn't there two cats before. So yeah, he's definitely now dead, which also makes you think that you know, their master's probably now dead as well. So yeah, fairy tale emerges now. Ev to everyone's surprise, though, Natsu isn't there. Instead, it's Juvia taking his place. And a, a cool comment actually happened when that happened when they saw that Sting is basically talking to Rogue, just like, you know, we should consider ourselves lucky that Natsu's not there, which says that he is probably the biggest threat to them. So yeah, so where is Natsu? Basically, final couple pages, we see him, Wendy, and Mira running off, basically to try to do some covert mission to try save Lucy. And that there is chapter three hundred three. So yes, yeah, not really a bad chapter, but as you can really tell, you know, not much happens, quite a lot of paddings, quite a lot of setup. So hopefully next week the battle should commence and everything becomes well fairy tale like again. There was a good obviously there's a good couple parts, you've got Natsu tied up trying to break out and then he finally breaks out and then the master basically just punches him down to the floor. You know, you got your comedy moments. But like I said, it's basically a setup chapter for the next for next week. So yeah, rating wise, um I'm going with straight up a 7 out of 10. Like I said, decent chapter. Lot of setup, but hell, that's fairy tale for you. So, you guys, that is the, my review of Fairy Tale 303. Um, you know, the usual, if you enjoyed the video, give it a little thumbs up. Leave your comments below. Love to know what you guys think. This chapter, Fairy Tale in general. And also, check out the channel for more. So, I'll see you in the next one.